As discussed in Module 1, no person may carry a firearm in a public place unless the gun is completely covered or if it's carried or it must be carried in a, in a holster designed and manufactured or adapted for the carrying of a firearm. So in the case of a handgun, it needs to be in a holster, completely covered, or in the case of a shotgun or a rifle, in a bag. Now, in terms of handguns, you get various different types of holsters and different types of carry methods. Um, we suggest on the holsters, make sure that the gun fits properly in the holster. Make sure also that the trigger is covered by the holster. We just find this from a safety aspect that when people tend to draw, if the trigger is covered by the holster, um, there's less chance of the finger going onto the trigger. Make sure also if you jump up and down that the gun doesn't fall out. It must be securely fitted to the holster. And you also obviously get holsters with uh, retaining straps on top which keep the gun in place. This particular holster, as you can see, has a retaining strap which is pretty useful for a firearm that has a hammer. And if you like to carry a firearm with a round in the chamber, you'll see that the strap is between the hammer and the slide or the firing pin. So the potential for accidental discharge here is very limited. And also the retaining strap prevents the gun from being taken out of the holster. As discussed earlier, we also like the trigger guard to be concealed so that when drawing the firearm, there's no way you can have your finger on the trigger. This is a, they call it a three-way holster. You have a clip on the outside, so what would happen is th this holster would fit inside your trousers and the clip would go over the front. So this could work as an inside pants holster. It could also work as an outside holster on your belt. Your belt can go through there and retain the firearm in the belt. Or alternatively, you could place the belt through this way, and that's your three ways, or what they call a three-way holster. So either the belt that way, where the gun sits laterally behind you, or onto your belt, but that would sit outside, or you place this inside your trousers with the clip on the outside. So there will be an inside pants holster. This particular holster is designed purely for inside the pants, where the belt goes through there, and the gun sits inside your pants with this hooked over your belt. You'll see that this is, does not have a retaining strap, but what I do like about this holster is that it, it's covered in the trigger guard, and the other aspect that I like about this holster is that the actual holster itself is steel inlaid. So being inside the pants, when you draw the firearm or holster the firearm, it actually maintains its shape all the time. As opposed to one of these, the Quadura holsters, where when you produce the gun from the holster, the, gun, the holster actually closes up and makes it very difficult for reholstering. Um, so these holsters are very effective and very easy to conceal because it's inside the pants. In fact, if you just put your shirt over the top here, all you'll see is the loop, but you can't actually see the firearm. And again, according to the law, the gun must be completely covered. So for your shotguns or your rifles, we have a rifle bag. The shotgun should be placed into the bag, zipped up, and... When carrying the rifle like this, it must be in your direct control. So in a public place, you can't leave the shotgun lying somewhere while you're trying on a pair of shoes. The gun must be in your direct control, which means you must have some kind of hand on the handle and make sure that you're in control of the firearm.